witness claims Mothman sighting in Japan prior to earthquake. I'm not sure if this is the appropriate time to come forward with this story seeing that the recent events in Japan are still fresh in everyone's memory. I have been a follower of your website from pretty much the start. I have read your reports and have heard you online before. Naturally your site was the one I thought of first when this incident happened and I decided to write in and tell you what happened that night in early February. I was in Japan on business and had mailed a lifelong friend who was living in Japan and teaching English at a local school. He had insisted on my staying with him for the duration of my stay, saying it would help save me money and make my expense report look better when I turned it in. My friend, I will call him Tim for the sake of his reputation and career, was a lifelong bachelor and had a fairly large apartment all to himself and his cat. After several days of day-long meetings and group seminars, we had decided to go out to get a bite to eat and take in the town. After a fairly large meal and hopping from one night spot to another we decided to go toward the ocean and check out the moonlight reflecting off the waves. My friend stated that he wanted to check on a biology station that some of his graduate students had set up near a large power plant. As we approached the plant from the west, we walked along some paths and came to a simple metal box bolted into the ground. From this box there were a myriad of weather vanes and other meteorological devices. My friend stated in a school science class students had a theory that just like the water being used and discharged by the power plant was warmed by the production of electricity. The air around the plant was also being warmed and thus affecting weather and tidal patterns in the surrounding ecosystem. It all sounded too complex and in my slightly tipsy and tired state was only able to grasp the bare bones of the complex theory he laid out. He finished up and changed the subject to something more jovial when all of a sudden we heard a loud and distinct whoosh. At first my mind thought it might be the sound of the distant waves crashing. The shore when we heard it again, followed by a pitching screech that shook me down to the bone and made the hairs on the back of my neck stand on end. We looked around for the cause of the noise when we heard the sound again. The best way I can describe it is a city bus's brakes when they are in need of service, loud and ear splitting. We both continued to look around when my friend's attention was drawn toward the plant by another nearby couple. A young gay couple, out for a walk were staring toward the plant, arms outstretched and the obvious fear in their voice showing itself. I looked toward the plant, and against the lights of the plant I thought I saw a figure silhouetted against the moonlit sky. The figure was large and black, from the distance I was at it looked to be sitting on top of one of the squared shaped buildings. It sat there for about five seconds then it unfurled a large set of what I could only describe as large, black wings. The only reference I can compare them to are from the old John Travolta movie, Michael, where the main character unfurls his wings and spreads them out to their full length. To say that this creature was large was an understatement. The creature then took flight and circled the plant at least 4-5 times, some circuits he took at a fast pace, some he seemed to slow down. All the while he kept his attention on the row of square shaped buildings that I later found out housed the reactors. The creature then came toward us, flying at least 25-30 feet off the ground. The young gay couple who had noticed the creature first were now screaming and cowering, the man shielding the woman while shielding his head with a jacket. My friend and I looked in awe as this creature flew over us. That's when I noticed the two large red eyes. They seemed to glow from within and with a blood red hue. They were unblinking in the 3-4 seconds we saw them, we knew they were looking straight at us, we knew this creature knew we could see it and it made no attempt to disguise itself. The sick, intense and overwhelming feeling of dread came over us. A feeling that we shouldn't be there was to say the least, overwhelming. As quickly as it came, it flew away, back toward the town, eventually melting into the black night sky and as it flew away from us a loud whoosh was heard again and then silence. This lasted a second or two before I heard the sound of a shutter and turned to see my friend trying to take pictures with his cell phone, but all he got was dark, nighttime sky. We went straight home and my friend bolted the door and drew all the blinds, he was shaking and saying that he could not believe what he saw, could it have been a large, unknown species of bird? 
He kept mumbling to himself until I was able to calm him down and get him to relax and talk about what we had seen. Eventually we both agreed that it must have been some sort of large bird, or maybe an optical illusion caused by the lights given off by the plant on a regular, known species of bird. We talked about it late into the night, till we both fell asleep on the couches and awoke the next morning to stiff necks and backs. My friend and I spent the last two days out and about and enjoying each other's company, till he drove me to the airport and we bid each other farewell and I came home. We spoke about it only once more in an email about a week before he was due to come to the US for his sister's wedding. When I brought it up at the wedding rehearsal dinner, he was convinced that it had been an optical illusion. That was until the day before the wedding when he woke me out of a deep sleep with a frantic phone call telling me to turn on the TV. There came the images of the devastation of the Japanese earthquake and the near total destruction of the city of the town of Okuma, where my friend was living and working. The day of the wedding the news came of the explosions at the local nuclear power plant and as CNN broadcast the report. We were both aghast as the same power plant where we had seen the strange bird-like object was not being shown on the television set. The Fukushima Daiichi was the exact same plant we had seen the strange bird-like creature circling. Was it pure coincidence or was it the mythical Mothman doing his strange work of predicting disasters? I may never know and may go to the grave wondering that, but one thing is certain for sure, I don't think that neither of us is going to forget this event, no matter how long we live. Thank you for listening to my story, I hope to hear your thoughts and feedback, and am more than willing to answer whatever questions you may have. I give you permission to share this story with your readers on the website. Thank you so much for your time. Marcus Pules.